What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out of the range and today we're going to shoot some more Stretch Armstrongs. I've hit Stretch Armstrong with everything you can think of. 500 Magnum all the way up to 700 Nitro Express. But today we're going to see how they hold up against the Elephant Pistol. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So let's go get set up and get started. <laughs> All right, today I have 12 Stretch Armstrongs. I'm going to set up all these Stretch Armstrongs. We're going to shoot them with a few other calibers before we blast them with the Elephant Pistol. All right, we got another table. I'm just going to kind of dump these guys on the ground. I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, we just about got them set up here on the table. It's taken a while. These haven't been very stretchy. All right, we got the Stretch Armstrong set up and we're gonna start out with something I have not used before, the 5.7. This is a Ruger 57 and I'm loaded up with some 40 grain rounds. These are very fast little bullets. I think old Stretch is gonna be able to stop this, but let's find out. Got my handy dandy glove here because these things get a little bit sticky. Let's see if strip. Well, he stopped it. <laughs> I think the round is literally right there. Like barely went inside him at all. There's not a whole lot left to that round, but there really wasn't much to begin with. I'm just gonna set that right down there. We'll get Mr. Stretch Armstrong set up again. Up next is a gun you haven't seen on my channel in quite a while. This is a Glock 31 and it's chambered in 357 SIG. A very hot little round. I'm gonna be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 125 grain jacket at hollow points. Let's see how Mr. Stretch Armstrong holds up the 357 SIG. Harder. This Stretch Armstrong looks a little rough. Normally, their insides are kind of clear. His are kind of yellow. He doesn't look very healthy. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to look like that on the inside. Like, he is yellow. And he's not very stretchy. So I think this one must have had a hole in it already and it's kind of dried out. All right, well, he's out. Uh, we're just gonna use this next guy. He's, he feels a little better. Some of these feel kind of hard. Let's use this guy. All right, gonna get him set up. And I got one more gun to use before we move on to the elephant pistol. The last gun we're gonna use before moving on to the Elephant Pistol is the Smith & Wesson 41 Magnum. This has a six inch barrel, and this is also a very hot round. We're gonna be loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 210 grain jacket at hollow points. Let's see how Mr. Stretch Armstrong holds up to the 41 Magnum. Here we go. Check this guy out. He stopped the 41 Magnum. I bet it did not make it far into him. Let's see here. I'm not seeing it. I think I'm gonna shoot him one more time. then that was a uh, much bigger reaction than the last shot that second shot blue stretch armstrong almost clean in half there's one of the rounds right there you can see it buried in him gosh <laughs> if 41 magnum will make stretch armstrong explode like that really curious to see what's going to happen when we hit him with the elephant pistol 
And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the Elephant Pistol. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's chambered in 375 h and Magnum, which is a round that's used for dangerous game, including elephants. Gonna start out with a Barnes 350 grain TSX. This is an expanding round and delivers a lot of energy, so it should be pretty eventful. Pretty interesting how this thing loads. So you gotta pull the hammer back, you pull this little lever down, opens it up, and you drop your round in, or you're supposed to. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. This is gonna be pretty eventful, most likely. Here we go. <laughs> Holy smokes! was ridiculous so i guess i should have numbered those um i didn't think that they were gonna fly that far but uh stretch armstrong number one he got completely blown in half and then i'm guessing that this is stretch armstrong number no i think this is yeah that's number no this has got to be number one because he's got the burn marks how is he right there though did he just he must have jumped forward yeah, so that's number one. This is number two. This is number three. Oh my gosh! And there's the bullet right there on the table. So I went through number one and number two, and then it hit number three, and I guess went inside him and then fell out on the table. That is pretty wild. <laughs> All right, so I've got six Stretch Armstrongs left on the table. I know we started out with 12, and you're probably wondering why are we down to six, but had some technical difficulties with the slow-mo camera earlier. The last round was made for expansion and some energy transfer. This round is not. This is a 350 grain brass solid, 375 H&H Magnum. If the last round made it through about two Stretch Armstrongs, I think this one's gonna go through about three. Let me know what you think. Leave your answers in the comment section down below. This is probably gonna be pretty spectacular. Here we go. What the heck? So we hit this Stretch Armstrong and it went through him. And then it went through this guy and then kind of shot off to the right. Uh, hit the third one. Oh wow, these are all good hits. Oh wow, okay, so I thought the round deviated to the right. But for some reason, it was just blowing all their left arms off. That's number one. Went through the first one and then Came through the top. Second guy. Third. We got us another yellow Stretch Armstrong. He must have had a cold. Number four. Hits number four and blows through the back of number four. Then hits number five, blows through the back of number five. Then hits number six and looks like it went, it came out somewhere, maybe through here. Yeah, it had to because the cinder block got smacked as well. Put a big dent in that cinder block. And here's the round. That is some pretty impressive results, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever seen anything go through that many Stretch Armstrongs. And that round, is still in pretty good shape. So now I'm wondering, I thought six was gonna be more than enough to stop that. But the elephant pistol is proving to be a little more stout than I thought it was. So, we're gonna set these guys back up. I'm gonna go get our damaged Stretch Armstrongs. So this will give us, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 Stretch Armstrongs. Let's take another shot. I think that we're gonna make it through, gosh, I don't know, eight. I'm gonna go with eight. We got 10 up there. All right, I'm gonna shoot with two hands this time because this is our last shot. 
Don't want to mess anything up. Here we go. I uh, don't think that did it. Or we deviated. All right, one more shot at this. And I'm going to aim like right here. I still don't think that did it. I know the first shot uh, definitely deviated right and then it blew the whole top part of this cinder block off. Uh, I was hoping that shooting lower, maybe we would maintain inside the Stretch Armstrongs and not shoot out the side anymore, but I'm not really sure. Well, there's a hole in the table right here. No. I'm not really sure what happened that second time. I do know this though. The elephant pistol is stupid powerful. A lot of you have been asking me in the comment section, are we still doing the 2 million subscriber giveaway? Yes, but I kind of missed the boat. We're at 2.3 now, so I'm going to wait till 2.5 and then we're going to do the giveaway. Already have the prize package together and I'm going to be announcing that soon, so keep your eyes peeled. I had a lot of fun today and I have to admit the elephant pistol surprised me. I did not expect it to go through that many Stretch Armstrongs. What else do you want to see me shoot with the elephant pistol? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.